we will be giving each other a Pokedex entry of a Pokemon we need to go catch. And the first person to catch five correct Pokemon wins. All right, John, here's yours. Many live on mountain trails and remain half buried while keeping an eye on climbers. Ooh, that's an interesting one. Okay. Yeah. Your dex entry is with its sharp glare, it puts foes in a mild hypnotic state. It is a very fickle Pokemon. Dang, dude. <laughs> I'm proud of that one. All that says is that it has eyes and that it will be late to your parties. I have a guess immediately, and I know it's going to be incorrect, but my thought process is flawless, okay? Define fickle. <laughs> So it has eyes that can hypnotize, and it doesn't give a crap about you guys. And it has hips that don't lie. Ooh, does it though? I am going off of knowledge from Pokemon Snap and seeing Pokemon interact with the real world. So my thought process could not be more flawed. You just gotta go with something, man. It's sharp glare puts them in a mildly hypnotic state. All right, I think I have a guess. By the way, Mikey, what's your favorite Pokedex entry? Here, I can actually, I can actually open it up. Upon taking in the scent of a particular rare flower, Flower, Shaman is enveloped in light and its tiny body transforms. I took a whiff of the flower myself, but alas, my body remained unchanged. <laughs> Everyone else, what's your favorite Pokedex entry? See if you can beat that one. I have found my Pokemon. I was actually right next to the one I was gonna catch. Okay. All right, well, I caught mine. In Pokemon Snap, you go through one of the levels and this Pokemon is in the rock. It's halfway in and then it jumps out. Graveler. Oh, dude, you were so close. It was Geodude. No, it also jumps out. Damn it, they both jump. No. You ready for my guess? Yeah. Is it Glammeow? What? Is it Glamio? <laughs> How did you get that? I like saw Perugly and I was like, Perugly's like kind of a jerk. And then I looked at Glamio. I'm like, Glamio's glare is sharper. Glamio seems more like a like a prissy, fickle cat. Wow, you can have a cat. I don't want one, John. I'm very allergic. Me too. I don't like him at all. If you pray enough, you can change yourself into a cat person. All right, John, your dex entry is through its horns, it can pick up on the emotions of creatures around it. Positive emotions are the source of its strength. My brain, ow, 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 ow. What? An empath, John. Your Pokedex entry is, it has a tendency to want to be in holes. It prefers <laughs> rock crag. <laughs> It prefers rock crags or pots and sprays ink from them before attacking. Wait, I thought I had what it was. That last line's thrown me for a loop. You know what, Tyler? We can skip this round. We have bigger fish to fry. I mean, look at this brand new office. And also, let's look at the incredible snacks and the sponsor of today's video, Tokyo Treat and Sakuraka. John, you know I'm not going to let you off that easy. Horn, but it is an empath. Tokyo Tree is a monthly Japanese snack subscription box that includes up to 20 of the latest, most exclusive, limited edition, and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks available that month. And if you happen to be looking for the most traditional and authentic artisan snacks Japan offers, you can check out the Sakurako box. Sakurako helps in partnering with local Japanese snack makers to continue to share Japanese culture and traditions that have been passed down for over 100 years. What game did you go to to try and find it? Oh, I'm just looking at a big, like, list of just a bunch of Pokemon. I'm just trying You're to- You're not allowed to look at lists. I'm not gonna figure it out regardless. This month's Tokyo Treat theme is Sakura Picnic and includes an incredibly helpful cultural guide booklet to explain everything you get in your box. I ended up enjoying the Sakura candy too much and almost ate all of them before recording this, but I also ended up enjoying the cream stew Pringles more than I expected. I like had a guess pretty quickly and now I'm going to go get it. I don't have a guess. How do you not have a guess, John? An empath that has horns? This month's Sakura theme was matcha and mochi and once again my fiance really ended up loving this box she told me that this month's tea was absolutely lovely and was really happy to get the beautiful set of chopsticks from this box what type of pokemon tend to be like dealing with emotions i can't think of a single one of psychic or fairy that have horns <laughs> And right now, you guys can use code POKEMON7 to get $5 off your first Tokyo Tree or Sakurako box using the links on screen and found in the description. And make sure you order before the end of the month because you don't want to miss out. All right, I caught mine. I guess I'll just, uh, I guess I'll sit here. I see a psychic Pokemon. There's a point on it. 
Some may even call it a horn. And you know what? I think this Pokemon is in touch with its emotions. I think this Pokemon is an empath. As long as we're moving on. All right, Mikey. <laughs> I've got the Pokemon. It's definitely the correct Pokemon. I caught an Octillery. Yeah, that was it. Yeah! Well, I'm sure I got mine correct. <laughs> I, I caught Ball Toy because I saw it and it has a point and there was no other thoughts. Ah, uh, yeah, no, it was, uh, it was indeed. Right. Yeah. All right, Jen, your deck entry is anglers love the fight this Pokemon puts up on the hook and there are always more to catch. Many people release them into lakes illicitly. Your deck entry is aided by the soft pads on its feet. It silently raids the food stores of other Pokemon. It survives off its ill gotten gains. I feel like Lipert is a good Yes. What fish Pokemon does everyone apparently hate? I, I picked anglers because it's like, okay, clearly it's some kind of fish, but there's a lot of fish. I can do this. I can do this. Aha, it's here. Let's go. Okay, I caught the Pokemon. Thank you, Quick Ball. You are the best ball. Just like the best viewers, subscribe to PM7. Yes, Newsflash, that's this channel's name now, and it's a vastly superior name. All right, John, my guess is Liper. It is not. It is Nicket. Oh. You, you see my thought process though. I, my guess, Basculin. Yep, you got it. Oh, I got it. I didn't think I got any of these. Let's go. Here's your dex entry. It's forgetful and not very bright, but many trainers love it anyway for its friendliness and sincerity. <sighs> is it John, AKA PM7? I was gonna make that joke, but I didn't wanna be mean. <laughs> <laughs> the next entry for you is, it's huge mouth opens almost seven feet wide. It has enough power to completely crush a car. <laughs> Okay, interesting. How do I find a friendly, stupid Pokemon? There's a lot of those. I know. There you are. Like Psyduck, Munchlax, but then I feel like both of those would have entries talking more about the headache or like the appetite. I feel like you're just bullying Pokemon. You just wanted to make fun of those two and call them stupid. Okay, you know what? No, I think I have one. I, as you're looking, I'm gonna go pee very quickly. Watch I get a shiny while he's in the bathroom. 12 seconds later. Oh, I did get a shiny while John was peeing. I am back. Does catching a shiny count as my guess? What? <laughs> There's no way you found a shiny the second I leave. Yeah! <laughs> so is that your guess, the, the shiny? It was not the Pokemon I was gonna guess. I'm asking if that counts. Yeah, if, if you're catching it and you're keeping it, that's your, that's your guess. Well, all right then. <laughs> I have good news and I have bad news for you. The good news is the Pokemon isn't even in Legends Arceus, so it does not oh. matter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, all right. I mean, I caught a very beautiful little shiny Ralts. No, the the dummy was a dumb bird. It's Padov. That makes sense. I wouldn't have gotten that. I was I was trying to get Swine up. I was going to go after Gibble, but I instead caught a Glalie. Ooh, both wrong. It's Hippowdon. Oh, that makes sense. But damn, I was just thinking like Pokemon that were basically mouths. Maybe I maybe that was the wrong way to go about that. <laughs> this Pokemon appears around Source of clean water. Boiling leaves from this Pokemon's head results in a liquid that's sometimes used as a bug repellent. A bug repellent? Bye bye. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Blank dispatches its prey with fire, but it regrets this habit once it realizes that it has burned its intended prey to a charred crisp. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the one that I want, I think is only available during the day. Time to take a little nappy poo. Every Pokemon wants to eat. But I gotta think of a Pokemon that like would be a predator. Mine immediately came to me and I'm still mostly confident. Bad memories as I go around Graveler. Just the the worst memories. Right, I caught mine. Don't try to kill me, Graveler! Get out of here! I'm sick of you. Last time I took the bigger evolution. This time I'm gonna go with the babier one, Magmar. Dude, yes, that's right. Yes, redemption! <laughs> yes! When you said the babier one, I was like, oh, he did Mag B. No, I, I, I don't trust that that thing can burn anything to a crisp. It's a big baby. I could punt that thing to the moon and that's what that thing does. My guess is Petalil. Oh my God, it is! Yes! I knew that leaves from its head were used for medicine. And then you said bug repellent and I was like, is it used for bug repellent? Maybe I'm misremembering the medicine. I just got go with Petalil. What a round. Your next dex entry is, it meditates in order to build up its mental energy. It's said to eat just one berry a day. <laughs> huh. 
Huh. Yours is, it lives in arid lands. It buries itself in sand and lies in wait for unsuspecting prey. I think I know exactly what that is. The thing that's tricky about this is there are two Pokemon that have meditate pretty much in the name. Boy, I, yeah, I think you might've picked one that's really rare. I'm starting to feel more confident about my decision. Oh, wow, it showed up immediately. I found one of them. I will be catching you and you will be my friend. And I will not feed you anything beyond one berry because apparently I can save big on food this way. And be incredibly malnourished as a result. Well, no, 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 no. They are happy only eating one berry. I will eat the rest of oh, them. Oh, you can, I see. I'm gonna have a team of six of them. I will feed them one berry and the rest of the food will go to me. And the Pokemon I just got, Mikey, I feel like I should lean into it is Metatite. Please don't say Metachan. It was Metatite. At first I thought you were trying to get in my head and then I said, keep it simple, stupid. All right, my guess was Trap Hinge. I thought that would be your guess. Close, but it's actually Scorapy. Oh, I hate Scorapy. It's about to go down. Scorapy is so wildly inconsistent about what biome it prefers. It likes the desert, but it also is found in the great marsh and the volcanic grand underground rooms and on the beach on the the nests this pokemon live in are mazes of tunnels they never get lost in their own nests they can tell where they are by the scent of the dirt oh, man. john yours is if it finds bad children who won't listen to their parents it will spirit them away or so it's said <laughs> Uh, I had a, a Pokemon immediately come to mind and I I just have to go for it because it's it's in my head now, you know? Yeah, I mean, I had a Pokemon immediately come to mind, but it's like, it's not been available in any game in the wild since X and Y, so. It's not that one. Gosh, I feel like I, have, I only really am having one guess. Ooh, oh. Uh, and you know what? I will let fate decide. Trust your heart. Let fate decide to shine these lights to see. All right, Mikey, I let fate decide which of these two ghosty ghouls hate homework the most, or love homework the most, I should say. They hate children who don't like homework. Alpha Miss Magius. It was Duskull. Why does Duskull care about homework? I caught Diglett. It's a good one, but it's actually Dunsparce. Are you kidding me? All right, John, yours is, it can summon rain clouds. People long ago revered it as the bringer of plentiful harvest. Okay, so it's a god? It is I, Thor, son of Odin. Its form of offense is forcefully stretching out its horns. The strikes land 100 times harder than any blow from a heavyweight boxer. It's got horns that can stretch. Gonna be honest, I read that through, didn't realize that that would, that would be as narrowing it down-ish as it, it seems to possibly be. I've got one strong candidate. You said this is the bringer of rainfall? I feel pretty confident about what I'm gonna go for, but I'm doing like a- I don't, but it makes sense. You said a bringer of rain, a god among- Mortal Pokemon. <laughs> Gonna go catch a ride on because their horns move around. I like already caught my picks. Pokemon. Damn it. Okay. Is it Gudra? It is Gudra. Yeah! Let's go! The stretching out its horns. That's the thing. I didn't realize that that could be a giveaway. That was. Used your noggin. Well, who can play at that game because the god of the skies and the bringer of rain, Pelipper with Drizzle. It was Bronzong. I would have guessed, what, 900 other Pokemon before Bronzong is the bringer of rain? It might be the bringer of pain, but not rain. All right, John, the one I'm gonna give to you is tends to be drawn to bonfires on dark nights. Difficult to chase away from settlements because of the way it scatters highly toxic scales. Ooh, I need to be able to get this. This is a really big one. Well, yours is, it stands in grasslands watching the sun's descent from zenith to the horizon. This Pokemon has a talent for delivering dynamic kicks. What Pokemon are kicks? King, but also we'll look at the sunrise and the sunset. Scales and bonfires. Scale and bonfire. All right, well, I don't have a great guess, but I'm going to go for it. Oh, I'm just going to have to accept my fate at some point and just go for something. But now I'm having second thoughts. I barely have first thoughts. I hope you were correct, pal, because it took me a while to find you. Wait a minute. What's that joke you always like telling me that that one guy told that was like five minutes long? So a moth 
goes into a podiatrist. There it is! I don't need anything else. Moth. Okay. A moth goes into a podiatrist's office. Five minutes later. If you knew I wasn't a psychiatrist, why did you come in here? And moth goes, well, the light was on. I'm going to get this wrong and be furious because I... <laughs> <laughs> so two muffins are in an oven. All right, Mike. You, uh, give it to me straight. Is the answer dust talks or am I an idiot? It is dust talks. Let's go! I'm a correct idiot! Yeah! You are definitely an idiot. Well, my guess for the Pokemon that watches the sun and delivers dynamic kicks is Mianfu. No, it is Stone Journer. Oh, you're right. I remember that entry. Now. Hi, right, Mikey, how about this? If you visit a beach at the end of summer, you'll be able to see groups of this Pokemon lighting up in a steady rhythm. This Pokemon absolutely loves sweet berries. Sometimes it stuffs its cheeks full of so much food that it can't fly properly. I thought that was the fat chipmunk. Oh no. Glowing Pokemon on the beach at the end of summer. There's multiple different ones that I think work. Okay. Filling its cheeks and then flying off. Which cheeks exactly? That's what she said. If I use my deductive reasoning and good looks and charm, I may be able to come out of this on top. I caught my Pokemon. Stop running away! I will feed you berries if you just become my friend, I promise. The first Pokemon with berries was a Gen 4 Pokemon, and this time I went with a middle evolution because you wouldn't expect me to go with a middle evolution. I went with Staravia because who cares about Staravia? It's Emolga. That was my first thought! And I didn't know if I knew where it was! You can look up where it is! I know, but just, oh uh, no! All right, well, time to see if it ends here. Was it Star You? Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh, I thought it might have been Starmie, and it also I thought it might have been Finneon, but I was like, wait, no, Finneon's Legends Dex entry talks about it being the beautiful eye of the sea, so that can't be it. I bungled it. I bungled it!